Hey everyone, Luke here with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Need to Know Show, we're going to go over five habits that you should stop after having knee replacement surgery. Before I jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you can catch all of our latest videos related to knee replacement surgery. So in the past, I've done um, the best five habits to have or to continue after surgery. I've done the top five mistakes after knee replacement surgery. Um, I've done the top five most important things to consider with knee replacement surgery. But this one is the bad habits, the things that we want to stop doing after surgery. So let's jump into it. The first one, number one, is stop the habit of I'm just going to suck it up or the habit of no pain, no gain. This is definitely not the habit that we want to have. No pain, no gain is not the correct motto, the correct way to think about anything. Now, there is going to be pain after knee replacement surgery. That's kind of the nature of the beast. Um, but when we're doing your physical activity, your physical therapy, your exercise, walking, whatever that may be, we actually want to be very much aware of the pain that you may be experiencing. This is especially important early on in your recovery as we want to find that happy medium where we're challenging you but not causing so much discomfort that we're going to cause increased pain, swelling, stiffness, and it's just going to set you back and you're not going to be able to tolerate um, activity either later in the day or the next day or two after that. So sucking it up, just not worrying about the pain is not the way to go. The best way to do it is to manage the pain and stay on top of your pain through different modes of pain management strategies, but also, again, finding that happy medium with activity, with exercise, physical, um, physical therapy, walking, whatever that may be, finding that happy medium where we're getting that benefit, but we're not causing too much pain and symptoms, causing a flare-up, aggravating everything, and setting you back. That's number one. Number two is the flip side of that is worrying too much that anything you do is going to damage the knee, is going to injure your knee or injure your body, um, or just cause harm or damage to your knee or to the tissues and everything around your knee. And what you have to remember is that your new knee replacement is strong, it's durable, and it's built to really handle a lot of different things. So anything that you're going to typically do in a physical therapy session, anything that you're going to do at home, if you're walking, if you're going up and down stairs, um, these things are just normal, regular day-to-day -day activities. Your knee and your knee replacement is going to be able to tolerate that. Now that might not mean that you also could have some pain and discomfort with different things, and you probably will, but that doesn't mean that something's being damaged, something's being harmed. Nothing is being done that is detrimental to your replacement in the vast majority of circumstances. Now, there are common sense things that you should avoid after surgery, you know, high plyometrics, jumping, twisting, cutting, things that are going to put excessive amounts of stress on your knee. And there are things that your surgeon may specifically ask you to avoid after surgery. But your regular day-to-day -day activities, walking, getting up from a chair, doing body weight squats, going up and down stairs, any type of physical therapy exercises that your physical therapist may give, give you. These things you can tolerate and your knee can tolerate and it's not going, in the vast, vast majority of cases, it's not going to cause any damage or injury or harm to your knee replacement or the bone or the soft tissue around your knee joint. So have um, confidence in your knee, have confidence that it is strong and it's durable and it's um, a well done surgery and it can withstand um, most things. Now of course we want to be aware of red flags and that's another conversation. Um, for example, feeling excessive loose or buckling at the knee, significant increased pain that is not consistent with the pain that you might expect with things. But again, these are rare, rare um, exceptions to the rule, exception um, circumstances. But vast majority of cases, your knee can tolerate a lot more than you might think. Number three, habits to stop after surgery. Number three, staying up too late at night. 
Um, and this I just kind of group into just not getting good sleep, not practicing good sleep hygiene practices, and also just in general not incorporating good healthy rest in your rehab and recovery and just in life after knee replacement surgery. Um, your body needs that rest and recovery. It needs the sleep. It needs the time where it's you know not um, moving and walking or bending and exercising every second of the day. Now, of course, like anything, we want to find this happy balance with all of this. But just you know, common sense things is let's let's try to go to bed at a reasonable hour. Let's try to keep the TV and the phone and the screens out of the bedroom as best we can. Make sure the room is nice and dark. Make sure there's not a lot of excess noise, excessive noise. Um, that's going to help you. It's already going to be a challenge to sleep for a lot of people after knee replacement just because of the pain and discomfort and finding a comfortable position. So don't compound that by practicing bad sleep habits. Go to bed at a reasonable time. Try to keep a consistent schedule. All those things. Even taking a nap, um, you know, one or two naps throughout the day for maybe 10 or maybe 15, 20 minutes. Those things can really be beneficial in helping your body to recuperate, to recover, and then be ready for your next um, next need, your next physical demand, if that's physical therapy, if that's doing your exercises, or maybe that's something else. All right, so number four, the number four habit is stop the habit of a sedentary lifestyle. Stop the habit of sitting all day, resting all day, um, again, you can see a trend here. Again, this is kind of the flip side of the one I just did, is we can overdo resting. We have to find that happy medium. We have to find that happy medium where you're doing some activities, you're doing some exercises to work on your strength, to work on your range of motion, your bending and straightening, just to work on your general function and mobility. That may be as simple as walking, that may be aquatic exercise, that may be um, some home exercise program. It may be something simple like going out and gardening. It may be hiking, it may be cycling. There's lots of different exercises out there, but we want to incorporate some sort of physical activity, some sort of exercise most days of the week. Um, again, we wanna find that medium. You know, Our body does need rest and recovery and sleep and all those good things, but we also need to stay physically active. And again, that's gonna maintain your strength. It's gonna maintain the mobility in your knee joint and just for you in, as an individual. And also it's just gonna keep you healthy. It's gonna help the longevity of your knee replacement, have good bone health, muscle health, tendon, ligament health, all very important and all can benefit with some uh, moderate, regular physical activity and exercise. So try your best to avoid a sedentary lifestyle. Number five, this is a big one I think, probably the best, most important one I would say here is stop comparing yourself to others. This is a race against yourself. This is a race of your own health, your own well-being, what you can accomplish, um, what your knee and your symptoms and your pain was before surgery, and then what we can get it to after surgery. And same thing, what your mobility, what your function, what are the activities you were doing before surgery, and how much we can accomplish after surgery. Every person is gonna take their own journey on the path to recovery, on the path to getting back to feeling quote unquote normal, on the path to getting back to the activities and the things that you enjoy. So don't compare yourself, you know, don't look at, you know, this person has so much bend at this time, this person's already out doing this, golfing, jogging, playing tennis, whatever that may be. Every person is different, and there's so many different factors that play a role. Um, you know, what was your health before surgery? What other medical conditions or core morbidities might you have? Um, what are your specific goals? Maybe you don't even have the same goals as that individual. You know, you might hate golf. So why are you looking at them playing golf already? That's not even something that you may be interested in. Um, that's just an example. But so stop overly excessively comparing yourself to others. And then I left a bonus one here. Number six is stop any other unhealthy habits. If that's 
poor stress management, if that's a bad diet, sedentary lifestyle we already touched on, if that's um, smoking, if that's um, drinking alcohol excessively, not getting enough sleep, all of these things are going to compound. And the health of you as an individual definitely um, plays a role in the health and the longevity of your prosthetic, your knee replacement, and your just your joint health in general and your mobility and your function. So any unhealthy habit is worth looking at, reviewing, seeing what you can do to reduce that, to eliminate that and stop those unhealthy habits and um, instead substitute those with healthy habits. So overall health and well-being is going to play a big role in your health and longevity of your knee replacement. Everything is interconnected. All the factors play some part in your body and in your knee as a whole. So I hope you found this video helpful. Again, these are the top five, um, actually the top six habits that I would recommend stopping as you go through your knee replacement rehab and recovery, and just also as you continue your life um, after knee replacement surgery. Please be sure if you have some habits of your own that you stopped or made sure to stop after surgery, share them in the comments. Share any questions below as well. I do my best to get back to you. As always, please again hit that subscribe button, hit that like button to help spread this video to others who may enjoy it or benefit from it. And I thank you very much for watching.